Juneteenth was signed into law a few short years ago, but the black community and its allies have been celebrating the revolutionary holiday long before. And here's how. Juneteenth commemorates the official end for slavery in the United States, which began back on June 19th, 1865 in Galveston, Texas. Using their platforms to amplify how important and crucial this day is, celebrities have taken to social media to inspire others on how to learn and celebrate the significant day. It's Alan Wani reporting with all the details. Now starting off with some of the biggest known figures in history, Oprah, Barack Obama, and Lupita Nyong'o have all made their mark on Juneteenth. Kicking things off with the celebrity talk show host, Oprah actually launched a collection of powerful interviews titled Lift Every Voice back in 2021. In the series, guests included people like Patti LaBelle, Joyce Walker Joseph, and many, many, many figures, 50 to be exact. The interviews were conducted by a team of black journalists, many from historically black colleges and universities. The portrait were even created by the next generation of black photographers, as Oprah calls it. The portfolio was published across all of Hearst magazines, with additional interviews on Hearst television stations and Hearst newspapers. Looking at those like Obama and Youngo, the two actually have taken the holiday as a moment to pay tribute to Opal Lee due to her long involvement in pushing the Senate to pass a bill that made the historical date a federal holiday. And aside from just one day, Juneteenth is an important time to reflect on the work that many do throughout the year for black communities. Looking at those like Laverne Cox, Russell Wilson, and Pharrell, the trio have been known to encourage attending local Juneteenth events on their social media and even attended many themselves. If you're looking to get involved in your own community, check out Why Not You Foundation for local events near you. Looking at other figures, people like Halle Berry and Beyonce have found ways to celebrate their community all year long with their work and musical talent, and even when they spend their money on a day-to-day -day basis. The Renaissance musician has been known to support Black-owned businesses in her day-to-day -day life, and has proudly showcased Black culture in her music as many know. When it comes to Halle Berry, the actress has launched her own wellness brand titled Brown Girl Jane. No matter what size, these two alike have suggested ways to get involved in your own community to make a change. If you're looking to be a strong ally on Juneteenth, you're not the only one. Figures like Ellen DeGeneres, Selena Gomez, and Taylor Swift have been outwardly vocal on the historical date and even encouraged their followers online to attend events surrounding the federal holiday. Something that many shared happened to be Lizzo's Juneteenth campaigns. For the last three years, Lizzo held a fundraiser to raise money for black businesses and organizations. Last year, Lizzo on Instagram stated, quote, Happy Juneteenth, y'all. Every year I hold a Juneteenth fundraiser where I donate to Signal Boost and buy from black businesses. This is our third year and we've raised nearly half a million dollars for black businesses and organizations. The star directed followers to LizzoLovesYou.com for more information on how to get involved, and the singer emphasized that many, quote, ain't free until we are all free. Aside from that, the most important thing to do, as Michelle Obama says, is to vote and have your voice heard. That's the message the figure emphasized in 2022, and she stated, quote, when we vote, we can flex our power. So wear black, red, and green, uplift black voices, read black authors, and listen to black artists. Happy Juneteenth, and for more information on this historical date, find us at whatstrending.com.